Yeah, it was good just to get my uh, opportunities. Um, Todd gave me a great opportunity. Ryan threw me open. It wasn't a magical route running I did. Just Ryan, such a great quarterback, understands everything. Just put in the spot where only I can make it. So it's credit to him and the play calling. That last catch was ridiculous. It looked like he kind of caught it with your wrist. What's going on? Yeah, uh, it was kind of a broken down play. We're doing something quick. Um, kind of broke down and then I kind of peeled up through the middle of the field. Uh, probably could have just sat it down would have made it like getting hit by the safety, but you know, found a way to get it done. You mentioned a great team win. I mean, you know, how important was it today that everybody stepped up, especially with the offense struggling a little bit? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, this is the NFL. I mean, we can't light it up, you know, 300 in the air, 300 on the ground every week. I mean, sometimes, you know, you need these tough four-quarter gritty wins that just builds character, helps the team work through adversity. Like this. Four straight wins now since the 0-2 start. I mean, what does it say about this team to kind of bounce back from how Yeah, started? I mean, it's crazy you said that. I know that, but I almost <laughs> forgot because, I mean, we're just so focused on the process here, and that's what you can do. As soon as you start smelling the roses, that's where you get taken out in this league. So Braves, J-Rob, coach and staff do a great job of just, you know, nose to the grindstone every single day. Thanks, Hoop. Yeah. Appreciate it. How did the dominoes fall on that? Um, I think they just want to put, you know, the best, you know, 11 guys that give them the best chance of winning. And whatever they do, I'm going to do my job, and I just want to help the team win. So um, wherever they put me, I'm going to go play it to the best of my ability. Can you talk us through the pick six? Oh, uh, yeah. So we was we were in an empty formation, and we had a little defensive check, and that allowed me to get my eyes on the quarterback. So uh, I was keying the quarterback the whole way. So when I saw him look to my right, I broke to my right. He threw the ball, picked it. The rest was history. What was the hardest part? Making the easy catch or outrunning everybody for 76? Uh, 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 I would say the hardest part was making sure I didn't get caught. I was kind of checking back behind me, making sure nobody was coming. And then once I saw I was clear, it felt good. I know you haven't been here but this long, but that's this team. You go for 76, Terrence gets the big punch out at the end. Yeah. Guys just come in the door and seem to, to step up. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the culture in the building. Um, you know, Braves and all the staff, you know, from top down, makes it such of a, a family vibe and everybody's positive and you can come in play fast and not have to worry and think and think too much it was interesting as well because we didn't know what the Colts were going to do after last week if they were right. going to revert to running it or throw it they, they still went out there and tried to chuck it around right right yeah I know um you know last week I threw the ball 58 times but like they said it's hard to win like that you know a lot of games so we were thinking you know Taylor was back that they were going to give him some carries but um we knew DBs had to play well so this is one of those games where it kind of took a village. I mean, everybody contributed. Definitely. Um, but we preached that, and we knew that, and we knew it was going to come down to four quarters. It's, it, it's always like that with the Colts, the divisional game. We knew everybody was going to have to put their hand in the pile, which they did, which is, you know, the best feeling. You mentioned the pick six. Were you surprised Ryan even threw it? No, because I knew he had to get rid of the ball uh, based on the defense. So I knew the ball had to come out quick. So I knew if I get my eyes and break and, and get a good break, I can make a play. Just to, just to kneel down and pray when you got to the end zone? Yeah, that, no, no dance, no breathing? Nah, that was, my, that was my first pick six of the career. I have, I have other interceptions, but I mean, just all glory to God. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. So I had to give him the glory first and then celebrate with my teammates. Or if we win the game, like, we have to be on the same page. And I think that's where we get so much better on defense, especially up front. Whoever, you know, when we, we all, whoever on the field, we communicate so much and we just working so good together. Yep. Able to hold Jonathan Taylor just 58 yards on the ground. How come you were able to slow him down today? I mean, just like the first game, you know, we hear it all week that Jonathan Taylor, Hines going to be back. But I think the first game, collectively, they only had, like, what, 48 yards the first game. So, you know. Around here, we stopped the run. You know, no matter who in the backfield, you know, I hate to say, if, if we played against Derrick Henry, that's our mindset: stop the run. So, um, but at the same time, you know, that's our motto on defense: you know, stop the run, and we're, we're going to affect the quarterback when we, once we stop the run. He's over five against you guys now in the hundred-yard department. That's what we expect. We expect no matter if it's Jonathan Taylor or whoever else in the uh, NFL. When we line up, I mean, go back to that first game, that's when our standard was Saquon. So, I mean, we we have gotten way better by stopping the run. And um, that's, we've talked about it. You know, we have to get back to stopping the run right here. In practice, you look like you were taking this one kind of personally. You, know, you seem kind of fired up. Was it, did this game mean a little more to you? Nah, I think it just, you know, especially coming off the bye week. You know, you, 
me as a leader, you know, um, because if we would have came and had just a mediocre day Monday, um, I would have, I would have, you know, it would have been me. You know, I would, I take it like um, a lot of, I guess I hold myself to a higher high standard. You know, when we come in off a bye week, it's got to be always be the best week of practice. And um, you know, that was our uh, motto in the in the uh, defensive room and. And, and, and even in the walk let's have energy, let's communicate. And, you know, it's just not me, but you know, I always take every game personal. Uh, but also, you know, I accept matchup too. You know, when you guys say Quinn Nelson, whoever it may be, or if I line up against, I'm trying to take the head off. You guys took Adams and put him on the field, and you were able to put Imani in the in the nickel, and it looked like it really was a huge difference maker for you guys. I mean, it was it was great to have a hook back on the field. And I, they're just saying every time we get guys back, especially after a bye week like that. And when we get guys back on the field, even with Bud, I mean, it's always good for the team. And um, like I said, I told them we get some shirts made, me, Nico, and Bud. And mama, there they go. And when you feel like <laughs> you three guys are on the field, there's anybody who can stop you? Uh, we don't feel like no one can stop us. And that's what we're trying to get everyone to see. And, you know, because we want, we want to keep gaining that trust from our coaches. You know, Coach uh, Shane, you know, T and everyone else around us that we're able to rush the passer without doing all the extra stuff. Let us just go get the quarterback. You play this game to win, and you, you don't play to feel good when you play. And no matter what, we came out on top today. It's a big win for at home versus the division opponent, and whatever it takes. And just glad we won. There was a play at the end of the game where it looked like Derrick Henry was going to come up short of the first down, and then you and the rest of the linemen kind of picked him up and pushed him to get the first down. What was going on in that play? Yeah, um, it was 11 guys. Uh, it takes all 11 to run the ball. We had 11 guys pushing the pile right there, and that's what it takes to win games. Uh, it's not easy. It's not pretty. but. When you want to win, you, you find a way. How personal do you take it when people say Jonathan Taylor is the best running back in the league? <laughs> we got Derrick Henry, and everybody knows the real answer to that. Well, we love that guy, and um, how much he cares, how hard he works, and it's no other back I'd block for. 30 yards, I think he had 30 more carries today. I mean, that, that's just, that's total rock. That's a load. Yeah, that's what he wants. That's what we want as an offensive line. It's a physical game, and that's how we want to play. The quarterbacks hurt. You know, it's obvious, and everybody knows you're going to be able. To, you're going to try to run the ball, and you're able to do it. How move, big of a move forward is that for this group? Yeah, um, we we haven't put together second halves in the past, but we're on the right track, and we come off the bye. We had a mindset, and when you got a guy like two two in the backfield, it's special, and he wants it as bad as us. So whatever it takes. Five in a row against this team. Love it. Love it. And now four in it. Yeah, and you got to put this one to bed just next two or three days, and it's another big um, division opponent, and you got to win these. These are ones that come up at the end of the year, and you got to take care of the division. Uh, that last drive was huge to make it a two-score game, uh, kind of put it out of reach, and then. Uh, of course, that turnover at the end was huge also. This is a Colts team that they're continuing as a team, as a Titans team, to dominate and this straight win. Just for you guys to, to be kind of the hold of the division right now, how big is that? Yeah, it's really special. Uh, they're, they're a great team. They always play us really well. It always kind of comes down to the wire. So each week we play them, we, uh, you know, we're going into it with that mentality. I don't know if you realize, but you hit a mark that not many kickers are able to do the 200 field goals made. Were you aware of that coming into this? Uh, yeah, you know, actually, I wasn't aware of that. I had a couple guys come over and congratulate me. That's that's pretty special, pretty cool. But no, I didn't know that was a milestone that I'd hit until somebody had told me that. In a game where you, the team doesn't score an offensive touchdown, how good does it feel for you when you can kind of carry the weight? Yeah, it feels great to just go out there and do the job, uh, help help the team win, uh, get points on the board, and uh, that's the biggest thing. Every point matters in these games. I know there's a couple of times where you realize, wow, my kick is going to make a difference and put this little bit out of reach. Is there any more pressure, or you just kick? Uh, to be honest, it's it's one of those things where every kick matters. Uh, all these games are so tight. Uh, every time you go out there, it matters, and it's kind of your mentality regardless. So it's it's not in anything different for any other opportunity. Well, David Long Jr., uh, they don't come easy in this league, but it's not how, it's how many, right? It definitely is. Um, I think it was a, the team effort. We got some pressure back there. Matt ain't see me, man. I just made a play on the ball. Yeah, defense making plays all day, and really the special teams as well on a day where the offense, yeah. the offense struggled a little My boy bit. Monty over there makes <laughs> plays, yeah. I think it was all, all three sides of the ball, you know, playing off each other, the energy, you know, as long as we play together, man, we're hard to beat. Another great effort against the running game, you know, you held – uh, Hines and, and Taylor and check at least on the ground. I mean, yeah. how much pride do you guys take uh, in that and stopping the run? Uh, I think we take a, lo a lot of pride in it. I think you know throughout the week that was that's our key. We know we had they had the backs you know to make make something happen. So uh, coming in in the game, we know we got a we got a good front seven. Um, you know we just play our game. You know once we you know play our keys you know and play our, our standard you know we lead the rest to everything else.
four and two now after an 0 two start. What does that say about the character and resiliency of this football team? Um, I just think I think it speaks to who we are. You know, uh, we preach it every day. You know, effort and finish. You know. Uh, Put the team first. A lot of those things, you know, is go a long way. I think it's not showing. Definitely off to Houston next week. I know it's not West Virginia, almost heaven, <laughs> but uh, good luck. And Appreciate it. On the win. Thank you.